Councilor Kazanjian. Uh, thank you, Mayor. Before we adjourn, I would like to have a point of personal privilege. Okay. Granted. Go ahead. Thank you. I just want to thank my colleagues for allowing me to have this point of personal privilege. I, like each other city council, received a disturbing telephone call from Manager Lynch, who relayed a very serious allegation of misconduct against Mr. Ernest Sandy Ames. Naturally, it is upsetting to me when any, anyone casts a bad light on the city of Lowell. This was particularly upsetting because Sandy Ames is a lifelong family friend and godfather to my oldest daughter, Nicole. Like seven of my colleagues who declined to comment, I did not feel it was appropriate to speak on a pending personal matter without having all the facts. Without making any judgment, even if only some of the allegations set forth in the report proved to be true, the city manager, as the appointing authority, after a fair hearing, considering all the facts together with a mitigating factors, should take appropriate disciplinary action against consi consistent with the city's progressive disciplinary policy. Further complicating matters it is that there is an ongoing investigation into what appears to be a very troubled inspectional services department. I will, however, answer questions posed by the Lowell Sun. I begin by apologizing for I have learned that I should have paid closer attention to my business, my association with Sandy Ames, as a city councilor. Uh, question number one, was I aware that Mr. Ames was repeatedly uh, spending city work hours at Kazanjian's Auto Parts? No, I was not aware Mr. Ames was spending city work hours at Kazanjian's Auto Parts. Of course, if I was aware from this time, Sandy would stop from time to time, visit the location as he is friends of myself and friends of many of my employees. In res retrospect, given to my position as a city councilor, I probably should have paid more attention to it, and for that, I apologize. Uh, question number two, did I condone Ames' apparent misconduct during work hours? Absolutely not. I don't or would not condone any misconduct, whether it was my own employees or city employees. Uh, question number three, was I aware that Sandy Ames was allegedly performing work on Kazanjian owned properties and running errands for Kazanjian Enterprises while supposedly on the clock for, for the city? Sandy Ames serves, served as an unpaid, independent contractor performing oversight of plumbing work on Kazanjian-based project outside of the city of Lowell at 190 Middlesex Street in Chumpson, Mass. I thought it went without saying and that Sandy did not need to be told he should not be performing any such services for me on city time. If he was doing so, <clears throat> excuse me, I was certainly not aware Sandy was either work, doing work or running errands for Kazanja related business on city time. If these allegations were true, I would certainly support the city manager's decision to discipline Mr. Ames. It was a mistake on my part to not make this point perfectly clear to Sandy. A question four, did I disclose for a conflict of interest reasons the fact that Sandy Ames also works for the manager of the SAC Club. I am not aware of any conflict exists, but as far as disclosing Sandy as a manager of Reckon and serving as a corporate president of the SAC Club, I would point out in this matter of public record at the uh, Secretary of State's office and also the City of Lowell's License Commission. Sandy has served as president of the corporation and manager since 1998, long before he was a city employee and he was a city, and when I was a city councilor. Question five, why didn't I recluse myself from voting on anything related to inspectional services given to those close businesses relationship with Ames? Sandy Ames is a very close personal friend of mine who serves as a non-compensated corporate officer and an unpaid management of the SAC Club both positions he held since 1998 before he was the plumbing inspector and prior to me being elected to the city council. I like to make my call, I like my colleagues have many friends who are employed by the city. 
I believe the only matter related to the Inspectional Services Division I voted on would have been voting on the budget as, it, as presented by the manager and seeing nothing in the conflict of interest laws that would have prohibited me by voting on anything that would influence my way I did my job as a city councilor. I did not recuse myself. In hindsight, perhaps a more prudent course of action on my part would have been to request an opinion from the city solicitor's office. Question six, was I aware and that I condone the fact that Sandy Ames reported working 52 hours for the city during an eight day period in July when surveillance showed Ames did not work as a minimum of 70% of the, those hours. I would have not, no, I, would have, I would have had no way of knowing that Sandy Ames reported to the city during an eight-day eight period in July. Again, if these allegations are proven to be true, there is no way I could condone such conduct and would support the appropriate actions by the uh, city manager. Question number seven, am I aware that the behavior of Sandy Ames, a business associate, is accused and constitutes a diversion of public funds to a private use and is therefore illegal? As I stated several times before, I had no knowledge that Sandy Ames was doing any work for me while in city time, and I think I have made it perfectly clear I would never condone such activity. Uh, question number eight, why was Ames allowed to sign off on more than 40 plumbing and gas permits on projects owned by and constructed by Kazanjan? Sandy Ames, the city local chief plumbing and gas fitting inspector, signed off permits applied by a licensed plumber subcontracted by Kazanjan Enterprise within the city of Lowell. Looking back, perhaps it would have been a better idea to have the building commissioner procure a plumbing inspector from out of town to perform such inspections. And for not doing that, I apologize. Question number nine and the last question. While voicing various opinions on the city council floor, Kazanjan has often stated he is looking out for Lowell's taxpayers. How is this consistent with Kazanjan's relationship with Ames and his alleged activities? As I have stated, I am not aware of Mr. Ames' alleged activity pertaining to private work in the city time. Consistent with me looking out for the taxpayer's interest. If the alleged activity is proven to be true, I support the discipline. If I, have made some, if I have made some mistakes in judgment, I sincerely apologize to the people in this great city of Lowell, and I'm truly sorry. I move we adjourn. <laughs>